With over 100 minerals, the mining sector is one of the promising segments of the economy. The newly opened Chitaka gold mine is for instance just one of the many gold mines in the country whose value, if well tapped, can transform communities and the general economy. Now if you get more than 4 grams, you are doing very well. Now indications are here, we have been getting between 14 and 16 grams per tonne, which is way above. In South Africa, Brazil, all those countries, they are even below 4 grams per tonne and they are still mining. So ours here is very easy to start with. However, more needs to be done in terms of investments for the country to reap maximally from it. No one in the region, no one in the country has invested seriously in technology. So people think that these people are exporting a lot of gold. You can't get it out without technology, without creating the jobs first. When you have an impact like this, then you can have meaningful employment, meaningful mining, and then we have checks and balances. The sector is however under the microscope for lack of transparency and the dubious means through which many operators acquire mining licenses and later on carry out operations. Now what Ugandans should know is when someone takes the risk to invest in a mine, what you find is yours. What the government is entitled to is the royalties, which we enter an agreement with. So 3% must be given back in royalties. 5% now. It's gone up to 5%. So we should not look at it negatively that, oh, they must be cheating us. Once we make a profit, we must declare our profit, we must be taxed. The Simba Mining Company was issued a license to explore the gold available in Ibanda. The company will be partnering with a Chinese firm, which will bring on board technology and expertise. The contribution of the mineral sector to the country's gross domestic product has seen a decline since 2010. This is not as a result of resource depletion, but due to poor policies and bad governance. Ingrid Nantege, NTV Business.